Imagine standing on the edge of a cliff, looking out at the world below and realizing that everything you've known is starting to shift. The routines, the familiar faces, even your own identity, it all begins to dissolve like mist in the morning sun. At first, it's unsettling. A sense of disorientation sweeps over you. But beneath this, there's something profound. You're not losing yourself. You're finding something deeper, your true self. This is the beginning of a spiritual transformation, a journey where the old ways of being no longer fit. It's a journey that requires letting go. And as you awaken to your true nature, there are six things that highly spiritual people slowly release in order to live more aligned, more authentic lives. These shifts are subtle at first, but they become impossible to ignore as you grow. Let's dive into these six profound shifts, each one a step closer to your higher self. 1. Releasing the need for approval. The first thing highly spiritual souls begin to release is the need for approval from others. In a world where validation often comes in the form of likes, comments and follow accounts, it's easy to fall into the trap of thinking your worth is defined by external opinions. But as you progress on your spiritual journey, you start to realize that true validation doesn't come from others. It comes from within. You slowly quit seeking approval because you understand that others' opinions are often reflections of their own inner struggles. You no longer need to be understood or liked by everyone. Instead, you find peace in being true to yourself, knowing that your worth is determined by your own sense of self-love and acceptance. This shift frees you from the constant need to please, allowing you to live authentically. Two, letting go of material attachments. The next thing highly spiritual people begin to release is their attachment to material possessions. Society has taught us that success is measured by how much we own. The bigger the house, the flashier the car, the more successful we are. But spiritual growth teaches a different lesson. You start to see that material things, while nice to have, don't define your true essence. The more you awaken, the more you realize that fulfillment comes from experiences, from connection, and from the richness of your inner world, not from the things you can buy. Slowly, you quit the desire to accumulate more, simplifying your life and focusing on what really brings joy. Before we continue with the next shift, I want to take a moment to ask have you felt this inner pull towards something deeper, something more aligned with your true self? If you're on this journey of spiritual awakening and these ideas resonate with you, consider joining our community. Hit the subscribe button and let's walk this path together. We're building a space for growth and connection where we can share insights, support each other and explore our spiritual journeys together. Feel free to share your own experiences in the comments below. What's one thing you've started to let go of as you've grown spiritually? Let's learn from each other's stories. As we move further on this path, another major shift happens. We slowly begin to let go of the need to control every outcome in our lives. We're often taught that control equals safety. But when you step onto the spiritual path, you start to see that control is really an illusion. Life is fluid, ever-changing, and the more you try to control it, the more you resist its natural flow. Highly spiritual souls gradually learn to trust the process. They understand that life unfolds in divine timing and that trying to control every detail only leads to frustration. This doesn't mean becoming passive or complacent. It means learning to set intentions and take inspired action while surrendering the need to dictate the outcome. There's a deep peace that comes from trusting the universe to guide your journey. As you grow spiritually, 
your relationships will also evolve. You start to notice which connections uplift you and which ones drain your energy. Spiritual people slowly quit relationships that no longer serve their highest good. These might be people you've known for years, friends, even family members. But as you awaken, you realize that some connections keep you stuck in old patterns. It's not an easy process, but it's necessary. Releasing toxic relationships creates space for new connections that align with your true self. You begin to attract people who support your growth, who share your values, and who encourage you to become the best version of yourself. One of the most freeing things spiritual people let go of is the habit of compromising their authenticity to fit in. Throughout life, many of us have been pressured to conform, to play roles that aren't true to who we are. But this comes at a great cost, our joy, our peace, and our sense of self. Slowly, highly spiritual people stop compromising their true selves. They begin to embrace who they are, quirks and all. They no longer hide their uniqueness to make others comfortable. This shift leads to profound freedom and fulfillment. You start living in alignment with your highest values, attracting people and opportunities that resonate with your authentic self. Finally, one of the most profound shifts is releasing the fear of death. As you awaken spiritually, you come to understand that death is not an end, but a transition. You begin to see that your true essence is eternal, that what we call death is simply a doorway to another stage of existence. This realization brings a deep sense of peace. You start living fully in the present, appreciating each moment for its impermanence, knowing that life is a cycle of beginnings and endings. This allows you to experience life with less fear and more love. As you continue on your spiritual journey, You'll find that these six things, approval, material attachments, control, toxic relationships, compromising your authenticity and fear of death, are slowly released. It's a gradual process and it requires patience and self-compassion. But as you let go of these old patterns, you make space for something much greater, your true self, your true purpose, and a life that's deeply aligned with your soul. If you found this video insightful, give it a thumbs up, share it with someone who might benefit from these ideas, and don't forget to subscribe for more content like this. Together, we can continue to awaken and support each other on this beautiful journey of the soul.